satisfied with the quarters available to you. I must admit, you've surprised me. I thought you were going to take off as soon as you'd gotten something from us. But I was wrong. I want you for a little soiree I'm planning. It's about an artifact, and our goal is simple. We're going to purchase it. Our seller is a freelance operative in the city of Neon, which means the artifact is almost certainly stolen from someone. I just need a little more presence in the negotiation to show we're serious. And I think you'd be perfect. That settles it, then. We just need to make a few stops when we get to the city, and then the drinks will be on me. Drinks are on you? Hmm. Now I'm certain there's something wrong with you, Walter. It'll be easy, I promise. I'll ride passenger on your ship until we get to Neon. Just let me know when you're ready to set off. To the Volai star system, then. I admit I'm a little excited. While we're here, you might want to stay away from the edge of the upper platform. It's a long way down. Things for you. Serpent favors me to have put you in my path. Hello, Captain. Finally, I've been bored out of my skull here. All yours, Barrett. Try to come back in one piece this time. You got it, my friend. Construction, incense, industrial chemicals of every kind. But they still can't get rid of the odor of chasm bass. We need to stop by the Stroud Eklund offices. There are certain authorization procedures when large funds are being transferred, even for something like this. Well, the Astro. 
not really my cup of tea. I'll follow your lead. You didn't hit. Benjamin Bayou's Tower. It's big, all right. Not sure what else it is. <laughs> the Astral Lounge spared no expense with their marketing. Huh. The Star Yard of the Future. This is where quality ships are made. And Mr. I don't just say that because it's Stroud's business. In. It's just it's all true. All right. I just need to have a short chat with my counterpart. Is she in today? Yes. Uh, allow me to bust you in, sir. Mr. Stroud, you are so lucky. Walter. Issa. Shall we continue from last time? The luxury cruise line market is completely outside of our core competencies. Investing into it is a mistake. No, I'm here about... Wait a minute, a mistake. Our ship designers are the best in the settled systems. They design personal craft and military ships, Walter. Large-scale accommodations and hospitality is a completely different beast. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here I am, arguing with my partner. <laughs> and you're just standing right here. Issa Eklund, the hyphenated Eklund in our glorious company's branding. Oh, aren't you lovely? Walter. Wherever did you meet your new friend? I'm jealous. A colleague from Constellation. Ah, yes. The daring explorers my partner is so infatuated with. <laughs> you should hear him reciting that speech. <clears throat> There's no need to go into that. <laughs> oh, my heart skips a beat when he does it. Really, it does. Such passion. If he talked to the board that way, I wouldn't need to placate them so much. I know. It's my favorite hobby. Now why are you here, my dear? The board meeting isn't for a while, and our vacations aren't coming up either. It's the discretionary fund, Issa. I need all of it. Ugh. Oh, this wouldn't have anything to do with that meeting you've set up at the Astro Lounge. Would it? I never said that. Did you have an agent hack into my files again? Only after you had one hack into mine. Tell me, can mutual distrust lead to a point where it's actually the same as mutual trust? A remarkably insecure location for a clandestine meeting. That was the point. Neutral territory in the open. With no leverage? Oh, you must let me help. It's been too long. I have this all taken care of. Some investigation into the cellar was motivating them. Then, some preliminary casing of the Astral Lounge for security flaws. Give you the advantage if things go wrong. Bribe a few bouncers, alter the codes on the doors. Yes, exactly. I hate being selfish, but I would like some time with my husband. We need to go through the fund authorizations anyway. James Newell is the broker who knows our seller. He'll be able to help you find out more about them. And it shouldn't be hard to find the Astral Lounge. Here, let me at least give you some operation funds since I won't be joining you. Meet me back here. I'm going to be present for the negotiation. I'm not leaving you to the Neon Sharks, I promise. Hey, Dusty. If you're ever thinking to yourself, ah, oh, I could really listen to Barrett's dulcet voice right now. Uh, then instead of I dreaming about you. me, stop by I and say hello, too. okay? You're still so tense. Here, this is for you. Once we're alone, your shoulders relax. They're... Tall. Yes, of course it's for you. You're onto something. Anyway, I figured you, you might have a use for it. Of. I can tell. I can see your mind racing. I haven't even stopped to ask you how you're doing. I almost didn't pick it up, but then I thought you might have a good use for it. 
There's the occasional SSI. Glad I did. If I so, see anything on our next expedition to a planet, then I'll hang on to it for you. You're just some useless stargazer. I just wanted to say thanks for the daring rescue back there. I had plans for Matsura, of course, but I appreciate the backup. Needing you isn't the same as wanting you. And I'd much rather want my partner. Hey, now. Who are you calling old? Anyway, I'm glad to be back safe and sound, too. Trust me. So many things can go wrong out there. Working with people you can trust is important. That's why I've been in Constellation so long. It's good to have people who will help out when you're in a jam. A reasonable approach. I hope one day you can trust me as well. It's been a pleasure, you know. Speaking of which, sometimes it feels like you've always been a part of Constellation. I can't explain why. Just figured I'd mention it, since we haven't had much time to chat before. You know, being a member of Constellation has given me a lot of opportunities, and a fair bit of stress, I'll admit. It's hard to imagine just who I'd be had I never joined up. I would have never done so many things, met so many people. It's mind-boggling how different I would be. And I never would have met Irvin. Or lost him. I suppose. Sure, sure, I've heard the theories. It just doesn't really provide comfort to me. Urban's been gone for over 20 years. Strange how memories can pop up when you least expect it. Yeah, don't worry. Logically, I know I should be over it. But I'm not, and it's gotten worse lately. I've ignored my feelings about Irvin's death since it happened. It's time for me to confront it. I'm just fortunate that Constellation has been a supporting home for me since Irvin died. I mean, where else would I get to dodge space pirates and discover new planets? On that note, I think I'd do well to distract myself with a little adventure for a bit. Aren't you? Name's Boone Morgan, your new best friend on Neon. If you're here for a drink or listen to the music, I've got you covered. But if you're here for something a little more exciting, we have plenty of Aurora for sale. Oh, no, 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 no. Drugs are for street gangs and junkies. Aurora is on an entirely different level. I like to call it an exquisitely crafted transcendent experience. <laughs> Only problem is that won't fit on the package. Here, we'll take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie, the Aurora is a bit expensive, but <laughs> let's face it, can you really put a price on pleasure? The Astro Lounge is one of the safest places in all of Neon. Security is hand-picked from the finest officers in the city. I see. Well, congratulations on your intelligence network. They clearly have done their job. 
I think the Astral Lounge will be more than happy to put you on the VIP list. I'll inform our security. Excellent. We do hope your meeting goes to your satisfaction. Enjoy the lounge. Yes. How short my temper is? Keep talking. You know what you're doing with these systems. Welcome to Newell's. If you're looking for any specific goods, Rosa and I guarantee we'll beat Sieghart's lousy selection every time. Oh, I don't have a problem with this place. My problem is Sieghart himself. That man has absolutely no respect for the business community on Neon. He skips merchant meetings and refuses to participate in any of our group buys. Worst of all, he pays off Neon's security to keep his place safe. Yeah, sure. If all you care about is yourself. Every payment Seagert makes validates Neon security's corruption. He's setting a bad precedent that many merchants are forced to follow. Anyway, sorry. I know I can get a little intense about these things. If you'll forgive the outburst and have a look around, I'm sure you'll find something you might want to buy. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Done this dance before, have you? All right, fine. I don't want any trouble. Sleep crate one, that's where the guy lives.
How are the preparations coming? Excellent. Good work. Let's head to the Astral Lounge. Goodbye, my dear. See you at the next board meeting? Oh, I'll be keeping an eye on this little operation. Just in case. Good luck, all of you. I don't know what the cellar looks like, but they'll have a security briefcase with them. Larger than normal. Big enough to hold the artifact. We should split up. The code phrase to identify yourself as the buyer is Ramsey and Trevor. Really hoping for a message written in invisible ink, but this will have to suffice. Remember, Ramsey and Travers. We'll meet back near the elevator. What is it? Can't you see I'm busy drinking? Really? I heard you all have a meeting in a few minutes, don't you? In one of those fancy VIP lounges? Speaking of which, I gotta get going myself. Excuse me. Hi! Having fun? We just saw our cellar walk by. Good job. Now before we head in there, let me go over the ground rules. He'll ask for twice what we agreed on. 
That's normal. He'll probably try to walk out. That's normal, too. Don't worry about the amount we actually settle on. The Stroud Eklund Discretionary Fund is just a chip to you and me. Our goal is to get him to accept that chip in exchange for the artifact. Anything goes as long as it's in our hands, and we're not dead. How does that sound? This'll be fun. I find matching wits with the Neon Underworld to always be invigorating. So you, Stroud, you look different in person. Our public relations always insists on doing some touch-ups for the official photos. Embarrassing, really. Your security here going to stand or sit for this little meeting, making me nervous. So polite, almost makes me forget what planet I'm on. to assume that briefcase has our item of interest? Yeah, here it is. Well, look at that. One of a kind, and I know you want it. I have the amount we agreed on. Uh-uh. Things have changed. I want double. Now how am I supposed to do that? I don't know, but your security here seems to have some fancy gear. Why don't they chip in? Did you... Uh, as you can see, we know everything about everyone we deal with. Now let's skip to it, shall we? All right. You win. Hand over the money. This thing is all yours. Well done. Some high-pressure tactics, but we got what we were after. Time to go home. Shall we? Stop right there. You're in possession of Slayton Aerospace property. Ah. Slayton must have been the original owner. We don't need to do this. All's fair on Neon. Am I right? Hand over Mr. Slayton's property. Now. He... What? God damn it! That is something he'd do. Well... I'm done being some throwaway goon for Slayton. I quit. Sending on men to the Astral Lounge. Slayton must be serious about getting the artifact back. We'd better get off the planet quickly. Gone wrong, hasn't it? Slayton has put a bounty on your heads. He's greased a few palms. Your ship's been impounded at the spaceport. There goes our way out.
Agreed. I will talk with the man himself. Slayton Aerospace has offices here in the Trade Tower. If Nicholas is moving this quickly, he must be there or close by. Let's head to their lobby, shall we? See if we can make an appointment. Open to get a meeting? Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. Can I help you? I... Yes, he is expecting you. I can give you access to the elevator, but that's it. I hear Slayton's had some major layoffs recently. Wait, this clearly isn't the executive level. He's on to us. Walter, uh, taking what's mine, then breaking into my office. A bold move, but one easily countered. Oh, we're trapped. Hello, Walter, dear, are you there? Issa? Took longer than I'd like, but I managed to pay off one of Slayton's security consultants. They've patched me in. All right. We've got her out. Once the door's open, just follow her instructions, okay? I'm aware of the irony of me continuing to say it'll be easy. But it'll be easy. Doors will open in three, two, one. Slayton's guards and employees are all over. Be careful. Okay. You'll want to use the vent system to slip around unnoticed. There's a cupboard just to the right of the elevator you came in on. Let me just get that for you. You know 
know the routine. Up the vent. It's a short one, I promise. Outside. You expect us to climb up the train? Well, I guess after you. the executive elevators. I'll go over one on the far end, and you can walk right over the top. You know, it's moments like this that really makes Neon the best place to do business. You steal what's mine. I trap you in the city. You infiltrate my office. I lock it down. Where else can you match wits for the highest stakes but here? <laughs> okay. You have what's mine. I, indirectly, have what's yours. We are at a stalemate. Although I do count a few more guns on my side. I do admit, having the co-CEO of Stroud Eklund in my office is quite the opportunity. How are your quarterlies looking, Nicholas? Perhaps we can add Slayton Aerospace to our supply chain. Provided this unpleasantness was behind us. 
Yes. I think that could be a most beneficial exchange. There is just the small matter of paying for the humiliation. Mr. Musgrove, my former employee, and the thief responsible for our serendipitous meeting, was caught prior to your arrival. I think it would cement our new partnership if you were to decide on his sentence yourselves. If you wish, you will have the opportunity to tell him yourself, shortly. Let the thief go with a sternly worded warning or get the authorities involved. Up to you. My security brought Musgrove to my office. I'm sure seeing you again will be a fine conclusion to your previous business. Just let him go. No sense in more violence. We have an opportunity to spare a man's life. I know he probably wouldn't do the same for us, but that shouldn't matter. Oh, no. You. Slayton really does have a sick sense of humor. Please. I was just trying to sell a product, okay? Isn't that why we're all here? Be lenient. We were taking advantage of his initiative, after all. Even if we have found ourselves working with the man he stole from. I... thank you. You're welcome. But if I were you, I wouldn't expect leniency around here after this. A rare moment of compassion for this city. Very well. I'll clear things up with the authorities. You're free to go. Time to go. Let's talk more back at the ship.
get going. Mr. Slayton is done with you. Another day. Show our stuff fast and get out of here. I'm anxious to see the stars again. This life suits both of us, don't you think? Way easier than retrieving an artifact from a mine that's about to get raided by pirates. But I feel like we made more friends the other way. All in all, a great success. Thank you for allowing me to tag along with Constellation's newest star. <laughs> yes, I used a pun. Forgive me. Pretend that I don't have questions, but you clearly just saved our lives, so whatever secrets you need to keep, I'll keep them. Say no more. We all came from different walks of life. That's one of Constellation's strengths. All that matters is who you are now. 
right? And you're one of us. I don't need any more than that. Well, I don't know about you, but I've never heard of these Starborn. And the speculation part of my brain is in overdrive. We need to regroup at the Lodge immediately. Tell Noel to analyze the data off the ship's sensors. Everyone's going to want to weigh in on this. wasn't here, I probably wouldn't be here all that often. Don't get me wrong, Atlantis is lovely. It's just sort of predictable. This place is a delightful relic tangled up with hope, grit, and science. How is Neon? Are you? Are you okay? Okay, I'll start transferring the data over now. Let me just bring it up on here at the table. Is that... is that a prototype? No, that material isn't anything we... What the... Everyone, come take a look at this. That's no faction vessel or Crimson Fleet. Secret military tech, maybe? Hmm, no United Colonies Admiral approved that starship design. They call themselves the Star Lord. Demand we hand over the artifact. Like we were children, playing with their parents' things. What do people know? Any offshoot groups go by that name? None in any corner of the settled systems I've seen. Maybe a distant human colony, finally popping its head up? Uh, another house for Rune? I very much doubt that. We ignoring the obvious here? A heretofore unknown group who just happens to know about the artifacts. I'm just gonna say it. Intelligent alien life, or extra-dimensional beings. The original creators from the furthest fringes of space. Or beyond even that. Is the metaphor of avenging angels coming down to keep humanity from forbidden knowledge not apt here? So, we have a lot of theories, but nothing concrete. Except that they're after the artifacts, and they're willing to take them by force. No settled systems lab made these things. And I doubt one of them made that ship either. So we got some weird extra-dimensional beings that coincidentally decide to build their spacefaring vessels exactly like we do. I'm not so sure about that. Noel, start analyzing all the data from the ship sensors. The gravitational wave they caused, scans of their weapons, shields, everything. We're in the dark. We need to learn anything about them we can, including some way to fight them if necessary. Until then, we stay the course. Collect the artifacts. It's even more important now that an intelligence we don't know or understand is looking for them. All we can do is be more cautious, but we are not stopping. This could end up being a race we don't want to lose. Vladimir, has the eye picked up anything new? Some glints of shine in the dark. Ready to hand them out as soon as you please. All right. Good luck, everyone. And be careful out there. A 
I'd like to talk to you about something. Cheers. Ever since I, I got the stars for this you, is like home. these people but are family. I hope, it doesn't I hope it feels that way for you too. Never regretted coming out of retirement. Constellations got the writ of the righteous. Keeps me young. You had a hell of a shake getting bullied in the void. Starborn sure know how to make an entrance. Ready to head back out there? The Eye can help you find the artifacts, but I'm afraid she's blind to our new competitor. Double check the safety and locks wherever you go, okay? Exploration's dangerous, even without some nefarious group trying to kill you. Good luck out there on the fringe. It's been quieter around here ever since Vladimir went to live on the island.
landing gear. Check. Thrusters. Check. Landing sight. Clear. It always feels like I'm on some sort of vacation when I'm here. We could get food at a restaurant like fancy people if you... What? Home sweet home. Or... Bittersweet. 
Look at how far we've come. It's all becoming so overwhelming. The Starborn, the artifact visions, the music. Is it all worth it? Mateo, are you having a crisis of faith? You? What if the Starborn are right? What if our hunt for the artifacts is a fool's errand, doomed to failure and catastrophe? You think we're doing the wrong thing? We just want answers. Isn't that why we all joined in the first place? The noble quest of discovery? This is exactly what we signed up to do here. If we abandon our mission now, we're giving up on Constellation 2. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to shame either of you. Blame the workings of a worried mind. I just hope that this journey doesn't turn us into something that we wouldn't recognize from where we are now. Hate to interrupt, but I have a favor to ask. Lot of equipment on the eye has reached the span's end. If we're going to find more artifacts further out, we need work done. Got the nods and signs from Sarah and Walter for the materials, but I need hands. Middle of the biggest city and the settled systems not passing the safety checks? Only met the Starborn out in space so far. Hmm. Got the right of it there. All right. Pack up the artifacts. Hopefully we'll catch a smile and keep the Starborn guessing. and keeping your friends out of my line of fire. I'm impressed. This is exactly the sort of move the Emissary would never think of making. Oh, I mean, I can't promise that for every universe you visit. I'm only one version of myself, after all. But I'll stay away from your friends this time. We both know where things end, anyway. I took a little detour myself this time around. I hope you weren't planning to visit Captain Petrov and the Scow anytime soon, because they're both in a million pieces. Except for the artifact, of course. Mine, now. You'll get your chance. By the way, you might want to tell your friend Mateo about the word unity, since I won't be around to casually drop the word like I usually do. And congratulations on saving all your friends. 
even if they never realize how close they were to being attacked by the great hunter. <laughs> Is there a way to go faster than the speed of light? And none of that grab tech cheating? Stuff fast and get out of here. I'm anxious to see the stars again. Well, well. Packing up the artifacts and keeping your friends out of my line of fire. I'm impressed. This is exactly the sort of move the Emissary would never think of making. Oh, I mean, I can't promise that for every universe you visit. I'm only one version of myself after all. But I'll stay away from your friends this time. We both know where things end anyway. I took a little detour myself this time around. I hope you weren't planning to visit Captain Petrov and the Scow anytime soon. Because they're both in a million pieces. Except for the artifact, of course. Mine, now. You'll get your chance. By the way, you might want to tell your friend Mateo about the word unity, since I won't be around to casually drop the word like I usually do. And congratulations on saving all your friends, even if they never realize how close they were to being attacked by the great hunter. <laughs>
place is a delightful relic tangled up with hope written inside. I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. No way. Hey, well, let me know when you're ready to take If it isn't the newest addition to the family. It should only be a few years. Sarah was just regaling us with a story involving her and Vladimir that is clearly 100% fabricated. Are you calling me a liar, Kotri? No, ma'am. <laughs> wouldn't dream of it. At this point, we've all got stories that sound made up. Lucky that all of us here know they're true. <laughs> Some stories do seem a bit more outlandish than others, though. Well, sure. We all have a unique story. But I don't think any of us really expected to be here like this. I was sure I'd have a nice, quiet life as a researcher. I kind of figured I'd just keep securing religious relics. Sorry, I couldn't quite hear that. Did you say securing or uh, stealing? You're never gonna let it go, are you? <laughs> you should know by now that is not how Walter operates. He never lets anything go. It's gotten him this far. And Andreja might still be out on the fringes of the settled system, scraping by as a smuggler. It was perhaps not my plan, but my options were limited. Hey, no judgment here. In addition to weird stories, I think we've all done a few things we're not proud of. And that is one contest Barrett would definitely win. And what about you? I know you were kind of thrown into all this. Oh, yeah, you really did have an exciting first mission. Pirates, artifacts, powers, all at once. I bet it does. I don't know. Mining might have been a much safer career choice in the long run. Beats most jobs, if you ask me. Certainly weirder than most. I was going to say that miners don't get to uncover the secrets of the universe, but you kind of did, didn't you? We have an incredibly capable group of people here. We have a path to follow, and we're going to see where it leads. We're going to figure out what this all means and look after each other along the way. No matter what happens, we're all in this together. I'll drink to that. This is all exciting, but there's really a lot of pressure on us, isn't there? We have to get this right. Unity. Huh. That's an important concept in Keeper Aquilus' speeches. You think it's connected? Well, it could be, but what have we got to lose? I'll meet you there. <laughs> 